Today is February 13th, 2011. And we thank you for taking the time out of your day to spend with the Greater New Hope International Church. Today's message is being brought forth by Pastor Charles E. McDaniel. The message is entitled, The Whole Head, Part 7, The Ear and the Watchman. The text will be brought to you by Psalms 127, also from Mark 13 and 35. We pray that today's message will bring something to your heart and your mind, which is your whole head. Thank you. Amen. I'm going to tell you all nothing like saying amen. That's that. Amen. <laughs> That's that. And it's just good to, to be in the house of the Lord one more time. And I really would ask as humbly as I know how that you focus in, not on what this old big head boy might say, but what thus said the Lord. Amen. Very important that we understand. I know in Christendom, we think that a watchman is the preacher. How many of y'all agree or disagree with that? Y'all say it's the preacher, right? Okay, I just want to know now. I just want to know. I, I ain't trying to start nothing. <laughs> I just want to know what you, what, what, what you got in mind now. But what happens is, I can say a hundred different things, but I'm going to let the word tell you. And that way they can't say what I say. Because what the word says is the only thing that's going to count. And whether you are aware of it or not, darlings, we all are what? I said we all are. Now, I know you might think I'm just, no, it's what the words say. A lot of times we have to do our due diligence. What does that mean? Do a little studying, showing thyself approved and rightly dividing the words. Let's read, and before I do that, in let's give you the definition of those two things as in God's word. Now what McDaniel said, and I'll give you the numbers that any of you that might have a strong concordance, you may look it up for yourself. In the Greek dictionary at fifty seven eighty two, the word means the word is pronounced Ur, which means to open the eyes, mm -hmm. to wake, to 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 stir up, to to stir up self, to really look at some things. Now let's go from within the text that we're going to deal with, and that's in Ezekiel, and the number is sixty-eight twenty-two. Now, you'll understand why I gave you the definition first, because you'll better understand. And this kaspa, which, to, which is the prime root proper to learn, to lean, to lean forward, to peer into the distance, by implied to observe, await, behold, espy, look up. Wait for, keep the watch, keep the watch. And then you can add the word man, which is an all-inclusive statement. Now, I just want another witness. See, I ain't making that up. And let's go to the Bible here. It says the whole head, part seven, which is God's number of completion, we know that God asks us that when we hear the word, let it sink down in our ear so we can get a full essence of what Dad is saying to us. Because it's important. We have a job to do. And he says, I will prepare your heart. We went over all of that, and I'll prepare your mouth to speak. Ezekiel 3 and 17, when God says, Son of Man, it also refers to etymology to Jesus because he was both God and man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So we, when he says son of man, he's referring to mankind. All inclusive, male, female. That's why at, by you understand that son of man, or he could, if you know, I'm not adding to it, if you want to take that, watch me. See, I didn't say this, I'm going to let him tell you. Is it son of man? That's right. I didn't, I didn't, when you come up, look at what he said. I, meaning God Almighty, have made thee a watchman. Unto the house of Yah Israel. Therefore, hear the word. How am I supposed to do it? At, at my mouth. Understand the etymology. We may have covered it. But in other words, a lot of times I've been in places where many minutes I can't knock them. Well, Dr. So and so said this is uh, what I've done. But that's not what God said. I can appreciate what the man is saying, but what my, my judiciary or my, my, my responsibility is what? To check it out. Yeah. Some folks don't check it out. They just call yeah. Dr. Goldbach said it, they go and repeat it. And he said, but you're supposed to hear the word at my mouth. Yes, sir. Now, once you hear it, and God planted in there, and, it, and give them warning for me. Now, she's talking about someone that's going out there. I don't think she knew exactly where the Lord was coming, but I think he did. She, he said, give them warning. Did he say, you had anything to do with it? No, sir. He said, give them warning for me. I love them too. They came through the birth canal. Amen. When I say unto the wicked, listen very closely, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning. I know you know my word because I know your heart. Now you got to tell them, folks, that the wages of sin still produce yes. the same results. Yes, sir. Yes, Death. Doesn't change. No, I don't care what. Uh, see, a lot of folks still are so hung up back in the 60s. And they still paying for it. They claim this was so wonderful. We had love and freedom. Uh, you could you could commit adultery. You couldn't have all, no guilt from it. And now all of them messed up. When God say. He who put his shoulder to the gospel plow, he doesn't look back. Because that stuff will encompass you. Hey, I got to tell them, I don't care what you might say. The Bible said no homemonger, no one. And you got to tell them that. Yes. Now, if they don't want to listen, tell them to have a nice trip. I mean, give him. Now, this is what. And thou givest him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked of his wicked ways to save his life. Now you don't save anybody, but you do have, you are the bearer of the torch. Yes. You're the light. That don't mean you beat nobody over the head, but you live in such a way. And he says you ought to be what? Ready uh -huh. to give an answer to, to, to everyone that asks you, why are you hoping in this? Yes. Mm -hmm. You mean you, 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 you're that weaker minded? And then most of us curl, we, we'll start curling back. We don't want to not be a, a we, they might put me out there in crowd. Who cares? Who cares, Pastor? Yes, sir. Who does? If it's wrong, it's wrong. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Once I warn him, it don't come over like you're holier than that. Because I, I, I can't judge Howlin' Wolf's mama or Howlin' Wolf. No, sir, Pastor. Y'all got to understand, his mother was in a very strict, shall I say, denomination. Because he shared his gifts in the blues, she disowned it. Now, wait a minute. Now, that's a hard thing. Y'all got to understand that now. Then the boy came to her and asked her to forgive him if he'd done anything wrong. Put a $500 bill in his mama's hand, she threw it down and stomped on it. Now you got to understand, look at a $500 bill. What's God's number for grace? See, he's telling them, I, I, I know, maybe I didn't see things the way you did. But this gift, I took it, I want to take care of you, but you wouldn't let me. 
Then another guy wrote a song that he didn't even write. He said, please tell my mother when I'm going down slow that pray for me and forgive me of all my sins. Now that's blue singing, y'all. And if y'all think I know what I'm talking about, check it out for yourself. See, you can, I want you to understand, I, you know, certain things about the blues, I don't want nothing no part of. But there are certain things with the spirit mind that God will give you to filter it, because when God told Peter, he said, don't you know the devil desire to sift you as wheat? Yes, sir. And the etymology ever said, you can sift through his nonsense too. Throw out, that is not a mean. Listen, God. And his iniquities, but his blood. Let's see what's going on. His blood will I requite at thine hand. See, sometimes we don't understand God sends people yes, he does. into our life yes, and we blow them off. Yeah. Yes, it is. They did that. Mm, I can't deal with that. He didn't tell you to judge him. He told me to tell him what I said. Amen. Amen. Tell him what I put in your mouth. See, when you become in tune with God, you just speak the truth in love. I've had some folks come to me sometimes. I don't put them down. I think, well, now all I can do is show you what the word says. Now, either you believe it or you don't. I say, whether you, whether you believe me or not, that's not going to change whether or not I love you. I love you because I love you. Isn't that what God did for us? Now, I mean, I'm sorry, even, even if they've done the most heinous thing in the world, and I've had people confess to me that they've, they've murdered right in this neighborhood. 